Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k plus k divided by k multiply k is equals to 2 and we solve this problem for all the values of k. So here uh, uh, first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Here we have this is k plus k divided by k multiply k. So when we add k with k, it will be written as 2 times of k divided by. When we multiply k with k, it will be written as k square and this whole equation is equals to 2. And uh, further here in the next step, you see uh, this k square is divided by left hand side. When we move it into the right hand side, it is multiplied by this 2 and it will be written as 2k is equals to 2 times of k square. And now here further in the next step, we, we move this 2k from left hand side to the right hand side and it will be written as 2 times of k square minus 2k is equals to 0. And now you see here both of these two terms involve 2k so that when we take common 2k from here we get the remaining values are so when you take common 2k from here we get k only minus when you take common 2k from here we get 1 only and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write 2k equals to 0 and the second case is we write k minus 1 is equals to 0. So here uh, we need to find the values of k. So for this we divide both of the sides by 2. So this 2 and this 2 are cancelled out by each other and we will get here k is equals to 0 divided by 2 becomes here 0. So this is the value of k and from here uh, we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will become here plus 1. So this is the second value of k. So here in the first method we will get these are the two values of k. Uh, so in the next step we need to verify that uh, is these two uh, values of k be the solution or these two values of k be the extraneous root. Uh, so for a verification of these values we need to copy down given question statement here. It is k plus k divided by k multiply k is equals to 2. So here in this side we will be verify k equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify k is equals to 1. So here first we need to focus on k is equals to 0. Uh, so when you put k equals to 0 into the left hand side it will be written as 0 plus 0 divided by 0 multiply 0 is equals to 2. So here, uh, here we have uh, this is 0 plus 0 becomes 0 over 0 form is equals to 2 and here you see that this is 0 over 0 uh, is usually called that it is the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that uh, it is undefined. So if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal. So if both of the sides are not equal uh, this concludes about that. Uh, the value of k equals to 0 is not satisfied over given equation so that we can uh, say that k equals to 0 be the um, extraneous root of the given equation okay because it does not satisfy our given question statement so here uh, we move towards our second root and here our second root is k equals to 1 and when we put k equals to 1 here it will be written as 1 plus 1 divided by 1 multiply 1 is equals to 2 so this will become here 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by 1 is equals to 2 and this implies that 2 equals to 2. So this shows that both of the sides are equal. So if both of the sides are equal this means that k equals to 1 is satisfied our given question statement. So we have the solution set of this question is k is equals to 1. So this is the only one solution of uh, the given question uh, which we get here from first method. And now here we again solve this problem uh, from second method. So here uh, in second method, uh, first we need to copy down given question statement here. So that our given question statement is k plus k divided by k multiply k is equals to 2. So this is our given question statement. 
uh, and here uh, we just use an other different technique in which we can uh, quickly get the roots of this equation so here in this method first you add these two values and k plus k becomes 2k divided by k multiply k becomes here k square and this whole equation is equals to 2 so here you see that this k and k are cancelled out by each other and we get here this is 2 divided by k is equals to 2 and then now here in the next step uh, because here our target is to find the values of k so that's why we interchange this k with 2 it means that we move k to the right hand side and we move uh, this 2 into the left hand side and it will be written as 2 divided by 2 is equals to k so this 2 and this 2 are cancelled out by each other and we will get here 1 is equals to k so this is the only one value of k uh, which we get here into the second method okay yeah, so but in the first method we already verify that this value of k uh, is satisfied over given question statement so we call that uh, k is equals to 1 be the solution set of the given equation so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos